Here is a step-by-step -step guide of how to build a PC. The components you will need to build a simple PC are a case, motherboard, hard disk drive, SATA drive, CD disk drive, network card and a graphics or video card. First of all, the back plate needs to be fitted into place and the brass inserts need to be screwed into the inside of the case. This gives you an idea of where the motherboard needs to be placed. With these fitted correctly, the motherboard will line up nicely with the back plate, which is then ready to be screwed in. Most of the leads on the motherboard will be labelled or coloured, so it's just a case of finding the correct lead and connecting it with its corresponding port. The 20-pin power supply needs to be connected from the power supply to the motherboard. If this is not connected correctly, the computer will have no power. With all the leads connected, the starter disk drive is the next step. It simply just clips into place towards the front of the case. Screws are needed to secure it. then has to be connected to the motherboard and the power supply with the red lead. The CD drive also clips into the front of the case, just like the SATA disk drive, except there are rails which need to be fitted either side of the disk drive before placing it into the case. Again, this needs to be screwed in. The memory and expansion cards are connected next. The memory is connected to the DDR slot on the motherboard. They are secured into place by the white clips on the edge of each slot. The video card and network cards are both connected to the white PCI slot, also found on the motherboard. Finally, make sure everything is tightly secured and screwed into place and fix the case on. If you've done it all correctly, the PC should power up. Setting up a small wireless home network. The equipment required for this is a broadband internet connection, a compatible modem, one or more PCs with built-in wireless capabilities or a wireless network adapter and a wireless router. First you will need to connect your wireless router to your modem, but make sure your modem is disconnected from the internet first. Connect your wireless router to your modem, then plug your network cable into the back of your computer and into the port labelled WAN on the wireless router. 
Plug your modem back in and switch on your wireless router. Once the router setup has been complete, it will show a green light or manufacturer specified display. Now time to configure the router. There will be a web address and password supplied with the router. Enter this web address into your browser and follow the manufacturer's instructions to create an SSID. To encrypt your network, then go into the settings and turn it on. This will generate a random password. Write this down and keep it safe as you will need it when you want the other devices to use your internet. If you want to connect other computers to the network, simply search for the SSID in the computer's wireless network list. Click connect and enter the password information when needed. Most modern printers are equipped with networking technology. The best way to connect one to your home network is by using a network adapter. You can connect your printer to the wireless router by running a network cable from the printer's RJ45 jack to the router's RJ45 jack. To share the printer, you need to go into the control panel and then click on printer and faxes. Then right click on the printer and click share this printer. Then simply enter the shared name and click OK.